Welcome to Storm Runner Load. In this tutorial, we will take a look at analyzing test results. If you haven't created a load test yet, check out our tutorials about load test creation. If you have already created and executed a load test, you should already be watching the online results page for this test. If the test already finished, go to the results page and find the test you ran. If you haven't created and executed any tests yet, this page contains a sample load test we created for you. Click it now to look at the offline results for the test. This is the test results page for a specific test run. If the test is still running, it will display widgets that monitor the test as it runs its course. Each widget shows all measured values of a certain measurement in the currently selected time frame. You can modify the selected time frame using the time picker. Number one, click one of the options to the right hand side of the screen to show the last five minutes, 15 minutes, hour, or to show the entire duration of the test. Number two, drag one of the edges of the time picker to resize the time picker to a specific size. Number three, drag the time picker itself to zoom in on a specific time frame. If the test has already finished, it will show static results and the status of the test. The gauges will be replaced by a status line and the graphs will become static. The time picker can still be used, but as the test is no longer running, the last X buttons lose their meaning. If one or more of the SLAs defined in the test was broken, the test status will be failed. If no SLA was broken, the test status will be passed. If you stop the test before it finished, and no SLA was broken, the test status will be stopped. Let's look at the graph area. Our test currently shows the following graphs. Running Viewsers. Running Viewser shows how many viewsers are running and generating load against the application at any given time in the test. This graph can be split or filtered by scripts to show the script distribution or by geographies to show the geographical distribution. Hits per second. Hits per second shows how many hits, or HTTP requests and responses, were regenerated by the running users at any given time in the test. This graph can also be split or filtered by scripts or geographies. Throughput. Throughput shows the application throughput in bytes per second at any given time in the test. This graph can also be split or filtered by scripts or geographies. Errors. Errors show the number of user script errors that were reported so far during the test. The details of the received errors can be viewed from the notifications panel. Additional measurements can be found in the measurements gallery. Transactions, transaction related measurements can be shown for each transaction in each script on, in the test. Transaction response time. Transaction response time shows the average transaction response time for the past transaction for a specific transaction in a specific script. Transactions per second. Transactions per second shows how many times a specific transaction in a specific script was successfully completed in a certain time frame. Failed transactions. Failed transactions shows how many times a specific transaction in a specific script has failed in a certain time frame. All transaction related measurements can be split or filtered by geographies. If you have added monitors to the test, server-side measurements can be shown for each monitored server. These measurements include CPU, used memory, free memory, used disk space, free disk space, 
and network utilization. Server-side measurements will usually be available around two minutes into the test as they become available by SiteScope. Use the search field to filter a certain area in the gallery. For each graph container or widget can be moved, resized, or closed in the same way. Use the Merge button to overlay two graphs in the same widget. Use the Split or Filter options to show different dimensions of a certain measurement, such as script and geographies. Notice that the measurement name in the legend will now include the selected script and or geography. Notice that as you hover your mouse pointer over a certain widget, a synchronized tooltip shows the value of all graphs and all widgets on the screen. Use this functionality to easily correlate several measurements on the screen. Click the label of a specific graph name to show or hide it. The notification area shows the current number of SLA breaks, anomalies, and script errors. This area is further covered in a separate tutorial. The Reports feature provides an additional view of the test results and is covered in a separate tutorial. And that's it! Analyzing a load test in StormRunner is as easy as 1, 2, 3. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment on the YouTube page for this video. For more helpful tutorials, visit our YouTube channel.